Hey everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. On this video, we're doing the quest, Calling All Frogs. That can be picked up at the community notice board here in Under Junon. So looking at the map, it's right over there. Probably came looking for Avalanche. We're recruiting for Crows Against Shinra. Let's stand up to our corporate oppressors. If you're sick of polluted waters and steel skies, then come to the Crow's Nest and join the cause. God damn, I get so fired up about this shit. Yeah, that's great, Nolan. But the poster's still crooked. For real? Is this any better? That's a good thing, right? It means everyone's been getting the condor the space it needs. Very true. The more we respect the condor, the more it will respect us. Okay, here's the community notice board. We have Calling All Frogs. The client is the Frogmaster. Location under Junon, Frog Goalie. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. I accept this job. It sounds intriguing. So, looking at our map, that's going to send us down to the shore, way over there. We're recruiting for Crows Against Shinra. Let's stand up to our corporate oppressors. Crow's Nest is recruiting hard here. That bike about burst my eardrums. Okay, down the stairs to the shore. And we're going to be heading over to that uh, rock archway over there. Lately, I've been bringing in nothing but sea devils. <gasps> okay, this is the place. into a frog. Hey, Finn, who are they? Not Shinra, I hope. Oh, no, we're definitely not. Oh, wait. You must be the ones Priscilla was talking about. She told me how you saved her. Right, that's us. We're friends. Are you a friend of hers, too? We're friends, but it's not like I like her or anything. It's just there aren't a lot of other kids in the village, so I basically had to be your friend. <laughs> Of course. So what are you kids doing all the way down here? Uh, playing Jump Frog, obviously. Actually, we could use a couple more players. Since you're here, do you want to give it a try? Ah! Help us! <clears throat> Come on, Cloud. Ribbit? Jiba. I tried to warn you! Like I said, hanging out here turns you into a frog! Don't worry, all you gotta do is start thinking like a frog, and you'll be fine! Ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit. We've been turned into frogs! But we can still fight. Let's save these kids. Alright, get over here! Using that tongue attack, nice. Alright, we do have an ability. It's called Leapfrog. Jump high into the air, then crash down on an enemy. We'll do it to... Let's do it to a Kappa Wire. They're the most dangerous. Oh, we got out of the way. What a jerk. Oh, Firefisher got me. All right, let's switch to Barrett because he's got a ton of HP. That's actually really useful as a frog. Look at Barrett doing work. Leave frog on this Kappa Wire. Oh, what a hit. 
Yeah, you can see they can barely do anything to Barrett. He's just got so much health. Nice kick, Barrett Frog. All right, this Captain Wire is almost uh, staggered. There we go. We'll just finish him off with the Leaf Frog. Boom. All right, there's also this bubble breath. So you can shoot out these bubbles, and if they hit any enemies, you'll uh, life steal. Like so. So you can kind of set them up like I did there. Now I actually wonder what happens if I get my limit break. I assume it doesn't work. I've never tried though. Stagger! Oh well, we do have a limit. Yeah, I can't use it. Oh well, that'd be hilarious. I would love to see a frog limit break. Oh, I guess I'll have Aerith do her leapfrog. In five, you can do yours too. Nice wind materia improved. Report back to the children. Thanks for that. So, you're ready to play? Fine. I love it. I promise. Ribbit? Ribbit. Okay, here are the rules. Jump frog. Press circle to leap over incoming obstacles and dash to safety with either R2 or L3. Remain on the platform as long as you can to prove your amphibian finesse. Get knocked off though, and you'll croak. Think you two can handle it? So we need to stay on the platform for a minute and 20 seconds for rank three. Every rank gives you an enfeeblement ring. Play Jump Frog? Yes. Okay, here we go. So jump over the obstacles. Now watch out. You don't want to jump into an obstacle above you. If you do and it touches you, that's a game over. So it's starting to get a little close. I can probably do one more jump and then I need to go underneath. Like so. All right, and this is just gonna get faster and faster. And now you can see part of it is falling away. Let's go underneath. All right, underneath again. It's getting faster and faster. Let's go underneath. I can get this job. Whoa, that was so close. Probably shouldn't have went for that one. Oh, that platform's falling away. Whoa, look out. Oh, looks like I'm the last one. I got nine more seconds I need to survive. Oh, crap. And we got it. Beautiful. I guess I'll see how long I can go. Haha, -ha, you can't get rid of me. Oh, it's going faster than I can move almost. Oh, that's it. Oh, no. A minute and 34 seconds. Not bad. What do you think? It's pretty fun, right? Eh, I've played worse. Anyway, thanks again for your help. You can come back again if you want. You look like you were having fun. <laughs> I could get used to it. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. Ribbit, ribbit. Hey! Ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> Your relationship with Tifa has changed and our quest is complete. Alright, we're done being a frog. This way. So let's explore more of Under Junon. We got a lady fish in here. Hello. Yeah, she doesn't want to be bothered. Alright everyone, come and get it. Don't want to miss feeding time, do you? That's 
That's it. Eat up now. I know you must be starving. He's feeding the birds. Alright, so let's check over here. This is the platform where we fought that uh, sea monster. And surprisingly, it's not that damaged. We got the kids jumping into the water. Probably not the best idea considering there's giant monsters out there, but whatever, let them live. Hopefully they swim fast if the monster shows up. Hope the crow's nest folks don't try anything stupid. Let's go this way. Ocean may look like it's in dire straits, but life finds a way. All right, let's see what's biting today. And right, we've got some materia here. HP up materia, not bad, not bad. Let's find some room for this, maybe with Barrett. Let's see. Yeah, let's drop this lightning material. And we'll give him the HP up. That is our third HP up material. That got his health to 31.98. Oh, right, he's got the HP up material earrings on, which is why that didn't move. Um, well, we can put him back on. Uh, let's give him bulletproof vest, Mark II. There we go. I actually dropped his health a little bit, but I'd like to level that material, so that works. All right, then we've got a chest. A bottle of ether. Nothing makes you forget a bad day like staring at the ocean. It's still nice to walk the beach, even with the CMS. All the ways to cure fish. It's practically an art form. Sorry, the ship won't be leaving port until the festivities are over. Ah, bummer, we can't leave. You didn't want to mess with the gals working the port, neither. Ooh. Oh, listen to me. Going on about the old days. In the old days, he would make ends meet just fishing off the shore. Now you gotta go out into the bay to get yourself a nibble. Of course, if you troll the waters with a company ship, you're bound to rake it in. Ain't any easier or more efficient way to fish. Elevator's been but if you ask me, it's like fighting the hand that feeds. I respect the sea, and it'll be a cold day in hell before I work a Shinra ship. Back in the day, it was lousy with fishing boats. Believe it or not, there's a reactor at the bottom of this bay, sucking Mako from the seabed like a man dying of thirst. And all that energy gets used for, you guessed it, weapons production. Unsurprisingly, that makes it a prime target if we got into another war with Wutai. Bet we'll be hearing rumors of ninjas here soon. After that, won't be long until kaboom. I swear. You'd think there'd be some players in these waters. So, we've got a Queen's Blood player and Fisherman. He's multitasking. Oh, well, would you look at that? I finally hooked a catch, and a good one, too. Bet you thought you could blow me out of the water just because I'm getting on in years, hmm? Well, think again. I'm this town's ace angler, Zogan. And I've caught much bigger QB fish than you, Sonny. I tell you that much. You young'uns can thrash all you like, but you'll never beat my years of experience. 
Okay, challenge Zogon to a match, yes. Okay, let's edit our deck. Um, I forgot to put the uh, Chocobo and Moogle in. Definitely want that. Maybe we'll drop an Alpha Dunk. I don't know, I kind of like having the Alpha Dunk there. Maybe we'll drop a Levercon. Let's drop a Levercon. We'll get that Chocobo and Moogle in. And is there anything else we'd like to put in? I don't think so. There's a few that are somewhat interesting. But... Nah, I think we're okay. Alright, let's go with this deck. See how it goes. So, for defeating Zogon, we'll get card number 24. Zimzalet. Raise the power of allied cards on affected tiles by 3 while this card is in play. And it's a rank 2 requirement for the tile. Okay, let's play. Not a bad start. I might re-roll that alpha dunk. Let's re-roll the alpha dunk. Oh, and I got another crab. Not bad. All right, let's start with Chocobo and Moogle. We'll put it right there. Uh, he's going with the Grasslands Wolf. Okay. I could go with a Crystalline Crab here. Get my Chocobo and Moogle up to level 2. Plus, well, I actually get up to 4 because this will buff it by 2. Plus, it gets the buff from a card being buffed. Why don't we go ahead and do that? Oh, actually. Oh, it doesn't count if it bu buffs itself. That's kind of lame. I didn't know that. That's very disappointing. Alright, well, we can play Cactuar here. And then maybe play a Crab under that. Maybe. Let's do this. Alright, he's starting to encroach on my territory, though. We want to watch out for that. Ooh, he just made that wolf very strong. Alright, uh... I could play a crab there, but I kind of want to play a wolf. Yeah, let's play a wolf here because then if he takes that spot, I'm going to take it right back with a Quetzalcoatl. So yeah, let's play the wolf here. I mean, I guess I could play the crab and have the same thing happen. But no, I want more points on the bottom row, so let's, let's play the wolf. Oh, actually, no, I wouldn't have been able to play the Quetzalcoatl there, so my thinking was correct. Oh, and he just left himself super vulnerable. Oh, bad call there. Let's play our crab here. Well, do I want to play the crab there or maybe the security officer? Probably go security officer. Or maybe even Levercon, but I think security officer is the better call, so let's go ahead and do that. Now he's in some trouble. Oh, and I can play my Riot Trooper and grab the top. Oh, but he grabbed it there. Well, that's okay. Let's see. I'm gonna play my Quetzalcoatl here. He might be able to do some shenanigans and get one of mine back, but then I can take it right back. So let's play Quetzalcoatl. See, does he have shenanigans? He does have shenanigans, but it's not gonna save him. So we'll play Leprechaun here. And that's gonna be game. Put the crab here, that'll buff the Moogle. Or Chocobo Moogle rather. And we can get one more point with the security officer. And that is a win. One to two to nothing. 
And we got the Zimzalet. Which is a pretty good card. I do like it. I do like it. Goodness me. This makes you the one that got away. Serves me right for looking down on you just because you're young. Queen's blood is a lot like fishing, you know? Gotta be patient, wait for the right moment, then reel them in. Time it wrong, and you'll be watching your victory swim away. <sighs> Just look what happened to me. Guess I had a bigger catch on my hands than I thought. <sighs> I should have been more careful. Okay, let's keep looking around. There's a reactor. Back in the day, it was lousy. In the old days, he would make ends meet just fishing off the shore. Let's go back up top. You wouldn't believe how quiet Oh, looks like the kids are back. Did you see the guy on the motorcycle? What a hunk. Wait a minute. Does this mean that Avalanche is here? The inauguration parade is gonna be a real spectacle. I hear he's gonna announce some big policy changes too. Rufus, huh? Yeah, it'll be nice to have someone in charge who isn't a gargoyle. It'll be nice to have someone who might listen to us. Why don't we try writing him a strongly worded letter? Yeah, good luck with that. All right, let's go up to the tavern. Who cares who the new president is? Who changed anything for us? Huh? Would be nice if Avalanche could stir things up around here too. They think they go out partying. They ain't seen nothing yet. Huh? You're not looking to throw down, are you? Sorry, but I was just about to leave port. Oh, name's Isabel, by the way. Was looking for a challenge, but failed miserably. Since this place was a total bust, I figured I ought to try my luck elsewhere. Although, maybe you can put up a decent fight. What do you say? One round of QB before I set sail? Challenge Isabel to a match? Yes. Okay, uh, so let's edit our deck. I do want to try to get the Zimzalet in. How might we do that? What will we have to give up? I mean, maybe an Alpha Dunk? It might be worth it. I don't know, though. Alpha Dunk is useful. What else could I potentially give up? I mean, maybe a security officer. They are also very useful, though. Uh, maybe a riot trooper. I don't know, though. They can be, they can come in handy for sure. Hmm. I suppose we can give up an alpha dunk. Let's give up the alpha dunk. Zimzalet, you're in. Okay. This is our deck. Uh, so for beating Isabel, we'll get card number 96, Shiva. It's a uh, rank two card, has three power, and it's a, it's a weird one. When played, spawn diamond dust to power two, four, or six in empty positions. So depending on what rank your existing tiles are, it, it's just gonna clear, it's just gonna put a unit on all of them and then you're kind of just stuck. But you could potentially use this card to get like absurd amounts of points, but That'd be a really tough setup. So I'm not a big fan of this card, but anyways, if we win, we will get that card. So let's play. Ooh, 
Ooh, starting with Titan and a Cactuar. I like this. Yeah, I'm not gonna re-roll anything. This is perfect. Uh, yeah, let's just play. All right, we'll start by throwing down our Cactuar. And she's going with a Leprechaun, okay. Let's do Titan there. Oh, and then we can play a Fat Chocobo. Oh, this is an amazing start. All right, yeah, Titan there. Great start thus far. Actually, I don't know if I want to play that Fat Chocobo just yet, though. In fact, I could play him in the middle, which could be very interesting. Maybe we'll play the Leprechaun instead. Yeah, let's play the Leprechaun instead. Ooh, we are setting this up perfect. Okay, Leprechaun's going there. Okay, they took that, but that's not a big deal at all. Because we're going to play the Fat Chocobo, take it right back, and encroach on their territory big time. That's going to really mess with them. Plus all those points I just put in the middle lane. Brutal. All right. Oh, that was a bad choice, I think. Because now I can play... Yeah, that was not a good choice, I don't believe. Unless there's some strategy I'm missing here. I don't think so. I'm going to go ahead and take that spot right there, I think. I guess they're going to have... Hmm. Now that I think about it, that does give them some opportunity to cause some chaos. But it shouldn't be too bad. I'm just going to play my wolf there and take their, their double thing there. I think that'll be good. Alright, so, Leprechaun. Yeah, now they're stuck. They are super stuck now. Alright, I'll just play my Riot Trooper then. And we'll take this win. I'm trying to think. I guess I would be just as well off playing the Crystalline Crab. Then I could play Chocobo Moogle and get even more points. Oh, but then I would lose the bottom lane. We don't want to do that. Uh, so let's just do this. And I guess we'll do... Yeah, I want to win every lane, so... Let's do Chocobo and... Mo oh, wait, we got the Cactuar buff. I totally forgot about that. All right, never mind then. Uh, we'll just play a Crystalline Crab here, I suppose. And then we'll play Chocobo and Moogle up top. Oh, this is gonna, this is gonna get out of hand. Oh, and then we've got a Zimzalet. Oh, that's brutal. All right, Zimzalet. And then we'll play a Crab as well. All right, well, that was a major beatdown. That's a, what, 35 to nothing? Brutal. And we got the Shiva card that I will likely never use. Damn. You took the wind right out of my sails. And here I was thinking my ship was unsinkable. Happy to be proven wrong, though. Especially by a real pro. Glad we could get that match in before I moved on. With all that pent-up frustration, <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to think or sail straight. Thanks for clearing my head. I'm gonna stick around a bit longer. Just enough to swab the deck once more. All right, let's keep looking around. Why, thank you. We're recruiting for closing in. My friend. Where did those rogue fellas run off to? Could have sworn I saw them. Alright, what do we have here? Weapon shop? I'm looking for a quality harpoon.
blue. Let's see if there's anything interesting here. Hello, hello, hello! He's got an Alpha Dunk Bangle. Grade 3, a sturdy bangle made from the armor like hide of a huge herbivore, available for purchase in the Junon region. So, 26 physical defense and 12 magic. And then there's also a Wise Fox bracelet with 12 physical defense and 26 magic defense. Uh, grade 3, a bracelet designed to ensure its wearer's survival in a dog-eat-dog -dog world. Available available for purchase in the Junon region. So, maybe something to think about. None of the rest of this is interesting, so we'll come back later. Or maybe not at all. <laughs> Don't be a stranger. Alright, and then let's go up here. Hey, look. I bet we could beat him. Yeah, probably. But I don't get the feeling he's got any money. Oh, hey there, mister. Are you looking for someone to play Queen's Blood with? We'd be more than happy to go a round or two with you. I'm Devin, the younger brother. And I'm Darren, the older one. And together, we're the Double D Duo. A team of twins who love Queen's Blood. You'll face my little brother here first. If you win, then I'll take you on. Two for the price of one. Sweet deal, right? Speaking of prices, if you lose against either of us, you gotta fork over three gil. Alright, we have the Moore Twins. Challenge to a match. If you lose, you pay three gil. Sure. No reward for beating them. Well, that's pretty lame. Uh, let's see. I think my deck is pretty good. Oh, actually, I... I did want to use these arch dragons. They're pretty nice. They're actually really nice. I don't know why I haven't been using them. When played, lower the power of enemy cards on affected tiles by three. Um, so yeah, we should get some of these in here. Uh, you know, maybe I will drop a security officer. I mean, what are my other options? I guess I could drop a Quetzalcoatl maybe. A grasslands wolf. Uh, let's drop a security officer. I want to get in an arch dragon. I'm even tempted to have two, but let's do one for now. Okay, that's a good adjustment. Let's play. Okay, not the best start. Definitely want to reroll one of these Quetzalcoatls. Other than that, I think it'll be okay. Let's play. Ooh, fat chocobo. I don't want to see that early. All right, let's play a Grasslands Wolf. Another Quetzalcoatl, interesting. All right, well, we'll play this Quetzalcoatl here. I'll have to figure out where I want to go from there. Gotcha. Ooh, he's got a Cactuar. Okay. I'm thinking Leprechaun, although I need to be careful with that. Then he could take that spot. Hmm. I mean, I could play the Levercon there. I don't know if that really helps me, though. Let's play the Levercon here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, another Cactuar. Very interesting. Oh, well, they kind of left themselves exposed there. Hmm. I don't have the best cards to take advantage of that. I could also play Zimzalette, which 
might set up something interesting, but it could also get me in trouble, so maybe we don't do that. Um, I guess we play the Grasslands Wolf. I don't like... Oh, I don't like the cards that I have for this situation. We could take advantage of this in a big way, but it just isn't working out that way. Zimzala is slightly tempting, I must say. I suppose we go with the Grasslands Wolf, though. I don't like it, but I think it's my best play. Oh, actually, oh, actually, that sets me up perfect if I could get a Zimzalette up in the, the top. I don't think I could. All right, anyways, Grasslands Wolf can go there. Okay. Oh, Chocobo and Moogle up there could be quite, oh, actually, it could be quite good. Yeah. All right, Chocobo and Moogle is going to go there. Yeah, I could see this working out nicely. Yeah, okay, and then I could play Quetzalcoatl. That could be good. That one, now I can't play with Quetzalcoatl. Oh, we got, interesting. Uh, well, I guess we've played the Crystalline Crab. This is a weird setup. I did not get great cards. I really didn't. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess I could play a Cactuar there. That wouldn't really help me. Yeah, I think Crystalline Crab is what we got to do. Yeah, all right. Do that. All right, well, that's... Should be a win, unless I did something astronomically stupid. Uh, oh, perfect time for the Arc Dragon. We'll do that last, though. Um, let's see. Well, actually, maybe we won't. Let's do that now. Why does that say plus two? All right, whatever. There we go. We'll take that spot. And okay, then crystalline crab. That works out. <laughs> Jeez, I barely have anything to play with here. All right, I guess we'll do the catch by there. That buffs. Our Chocobo Moogle again, and then are we even going to be able to play this last one? No, we are not. All right, we're passing then. And that's a win. A big win. 22 to nothing. We had a really bad draw, though. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. Not bad, but next, you got to beat me. All right, you defeated Devin. Now it's Darren's turn. Don't worry, Devin. I promise I'll avenge you. All right, so for beating him, we do get a card. Card number 21, Ogre, which I actually do like this card. Rank two, it gives five power, which is quite nice and very interesting uh, power positions. Uh, I'm gonna stick with the same deck, so let's do it. All right, did we get a better draw this time? We did. I do like this draw. I will play it. Yeah, I'm not gonna re-roll anything. That's perfect. Okay, let's start with a Grasslands Wolf. Okay. Uh, definitely Titan. Oh, he's coming out swinging. Interesting.
Let's see, how do I want to do this? I kind of want to play the Riot Trooper, but then I'm a little worried I potentially would get a little stuck. I guess it does force his hand, though, to play there, but then he'd have... He'd be encroaching on my territory quite a bit. And leaving me in a slight pickle. So maybe we go up the sides instead, but... I don't know. I hate to give up that three in the back. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we do Ryan Trooper that does... I don't like leaving that open like that, especially when I don't have good cards to play off of it. Yeah, maybe... I mean, we could play our Riot Trooper there. You know what? I think I will. Slight waste, but I don't have anything good to play off of it, so... Let's get some points up on that top row. Oh, geez, look at that, eight. Holy crap, we're gonna have to get some serious points down. All right, let's put a Levercon there. Now I'm putting the pressure on him. What's he gonna do? Oh, that sets me up. Oh, if I only had the right card for it. And I do, oh, actually, I do have the security officer. I'd like to put some more points down, but... Yeah, let's go with that. That's gonna... That's gonna mess him up a bit. Now, what's he got? Alright, so he takes that back. Oh, I'd love to play the... Fat chocobo, but I can't. But it doesn't matter because I'm gonna take this win. I'm, at least I should. I'm trying to think the best way to do this. I think our best bet is just to play the uh, chocobo and moogle there, and then we can do two crabs and really get some points out. Yeah, let's do this. And now he's got no more plays he can make, so now it's all up to me, assuming I can make enough points. Which I think I actually, yeah, I pretty much already have the win. So, let's see, I guess we're, we're not going to win the bottom row, so that's a, a wash. So let's just try to buff the mid. Like so. And put the crab there. And then Quetzalcoatl, and then maybe Quetzalcoatl again. Or maybe another crab. Oh wait, I, never mind. I don't have another crab. Oh! Zimzalet! Interesting... Would that be better than the crab? Or Quetzalcoatl, rather? Uh, I guess it would be, wouldn't it? Okay, yeah, let's do this. Zim's a lot. Oh no, but then I can do two Quetzalcoatls. Never mind, let's do this. Yeah. I think it's the same, actually. Oh, and then Cactuar, but do Quetzalcoatl again. Boom. Alright, we got the win. We did lose that bottom row, though. So 23 to 10, he put up a good fight. We got an ogre, which I'm very excited about. Aw, I can't believe we lost. You're better at this than I thought. Hold up, does this mean we don't get our three kill? No, he totally still owes us. I'm pretty sure the deal was if we lost, we got three gil. Isn't that right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You may have beaten us this time, but we'll get that three gil from you yet. So if you're ever in the mood, come back and play. Congratulations, Cloud. You have attained the rank of Blood Squire. As such, I have information that may be of interest. 
a talented player by the name of Cameron, is looking for opponents within the Crow's Nest. I believe that you would find him to be a suitable challenge. Perhaps you ought to seek him out. Okay, we learned of a new card player way out where we haven't been. We beat everyone in Under Juno. Okay, well, with this view right here, we're going to go ahead and wrap things up. So, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.